talk more about it is Dr. Nick Avergeropoulos. He is an oncologist at Orlando Health UF Health Cancer Center. Great to see you, Doc. Thanks Thank for coming for in. Us. Thank you. So I think a lot of people were shocked when they heard this to hear that here she was caring for her mother who does have brain cancer, and then she finds out that she has a tumor as well. Is, is it all that surprising? Well, it, the brain cancers typically don't occur genetically. Okay. There are certain rare syndromes like neurofibromatosis too where that can happen. My understanding is that her mother had a malignant brain tumor that was stage four and that Maria fortunately has, not that any of this is good, yeah. has a more benign brain tumor called the meningioma that occurs on the surface of the brain and pushes in. Okay, so maybe not a hereditary link, but what does it mean for her future? Is it more likely to come back? It is. Um, you know, she's young, and meningiomas, although they can occur at most any age, typically it's in the sixth and seventh decade that we see this. Um, and I understand that it was almost completely resected, but not completely gone. So it's something that will have to be monitored over time, maybe over five years. There's a five to 10% chance that it can come back, which may require further surgeries or even radiation treatments or other types of conditions, depending on where it is and the geometry of it. I think what scares a lot of people is they think, well, how would I even know that I have something like this? What, it, because we're paranoid, right? And of we get course. on the internet and we start Googling <laughs> things course. and then all of a sudden we're self-diagnosing. Absolutely. How do you know? It's, it's pretty scary. You know, as opposed to, for example, a well woman visit or uh, a routine health visit or lab work, it's not something that we routinely do to say, oh, I need a brain MRI every time we have a headache. Sure. You know? uh, um, but I think that persistent symptoms or unilateral, like uh, focal symptoms like right sided weakness or numbness or tingling, things that are persistent require that you have a good communication with your primary care physician or with a neurologist to try to find out. Out, does this make sense that it's something that's not supposed to be happening or is it a tran uh, just something that's transient come and go okay and it's not a death sentence no not necessarily okay. there's so many different types of brain tumors and brain cancers that could come from other parts of the body or start from around the brain or in the brain itself carrying vastly different treatments and, and prognosis all right well, we certainly appreciate your expertise and uh, anybody who's going through this appreciate your expertise doc thank you so much for thank coming you for in on the 4th of July we hope you have a great holiday <laughs> God bless Very America. Very kind of you. Yes.